Hi, I'm Reagan Riddle. I am a law partner here at Armstrong Divorce and Family Law. We're very client focused and we're always looking for ways to cater our practice uh, to make it just that less stressful for them. Um, we're also um, really trying to utilize technology to talk um, to our clients and, and make it easier for them to either sign documents or access resources like the courthouse um, via Zoom. When you're choosing a family law attorney, it always comes down to whether or not it's a good fit for the client. Um, they have to feel comfortable with your style and, and, and the way you practice uh, law in general. You need to be able to advocate for them and, and understand their story and be able to present that effectively to the court to make sure that their needs are being met and, and their goals are being reached. Sometimes um, family lawyers in general will, will fall into this pitfall of just saying, I've seen this set of facts before, I'm just going to do what I did before. Um, that's not how we operate. We, we take each case and look at the unique set of circumstances. We really try to pinpoint our client's goals and figure out a way to achieve those goals uh, as seamlessly as possible. We have really been looking into any way possible with, with all the technological advancements to make sure that you know we're staying ahead of the game and we're also making it easier for our clients and easier for the court to really hear um, what we have to say. We really, really love that Soberlink is staying ahead of the game in terms of continuing to update their technology. Soberlink really provides a good method of helping our clients or the other side really feel comfortable that somebody who is having a substance abuse issue is being monitored and it's and it's being monitored in a discreet way so that somebody who is really struggling with addiction can you know show hey i am maintaining sobriety i think soberlink by far compared to any of the other devices that i've seen has done a really good job technology wise of keeping up with how people might manipulate the the results um, and has done a really good job at finding fixes for it. I have been seeing so many more, especially during this COVID time period, cases where alcohol abuse or substance abuse has uh, increased exponentially. At our firm, at least, we do a lot of outside education, outside therapists, Therapists who have um, substance abuse backgrounds come in and talk to our office about resources you can offer these people depending on what is going on because it could be something else and the substance, the alcohol abuse is really a symptom of some underlying mental illness. We're not therapists, we're lawyers, um, but we are trying to you know, make sure that we give them all the resources possible to help not only, you know, if it is a, alcohol abuse issue, that we're giving them those resources to maintain their sobriety so that they can see their kids. So I think, it, it, you know, learning outside of our area of law about what is the best ways to help them and support them in their sobriety and their continued sobriety, I think that helps me help the court make decisions um, in our custody cases. I constantly am trying to make sure that decisions that are being made are kid-centric, that they're making choices that in the long term are gonna be a benefit for their children. We will get them divorced. That will happen, um, but they still have to co-parent with that person. So the more they can take the emotion of the, of the other person out of it, their co-parenting relationship will be so much better. It really is awesome. I don't know what other device I would recommend. At the end of the day, you're gonna to get to see your kids, but you need to focus on your sobriety, and this device is gonna help you because you know you have to blow in it at those intervals, so that's really cool.